Hi, and welcome to my channel. Or if you're a returning subscriber, hi again. It's so nice to see you back here for another video. I hope that you're all having an amazing day today. My name is Tess Lark, and this is an art and beauty channel. So if those are videos you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed because I'm here for you every single week. And this week, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I thought that I would do some sort of Valentine's Day inspired craft. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make these super cute Valentine's Day inspired inspired necklaces using epoxy resin and alcohol ink. This project is super straightforward, which makes it great for beginners, and I can't wait to get crafting. As always, I will have all of the materials that I use linked down below, so if anyone's interested in trying this project for themselves, all the information will be down there for you. I will also go ahead and link my Etsy, where you can find everything that I make, everything that's up for grabs, and also commission some pieces, so if you'd like to support my art in this channel, that will be down there as well. And as always, if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It not only helps out my channel a lot, but it also lets me know that I'm making content that you want to see from me. And if you're interested in jewelry fabrication, I do have a playlist set up that's just for jewelry. So you can check that out after this video. And let's start crafting. I'm going to start by marking off my measuring cup, how much resin I want to pour in. I'm going to be using a two-part epoxy resin. I like to use the Naked Fusion resin and I'll be pouring one part epoxy and one part hardener. And then thoroughly mixing my resin and hardener together, scraping the sides and bottom of my container until it is completely incorporated and clear. And then I'll go ahead and set that to the side. Here I have the molds that I'll be using for this project along with these cute little holographic foils. I'll be using the smaller pieces and actually I'll be cutting up that centerpiece, cutting off a couple of those small roses to incorporate in two of these necklaces. One side of the holographic foils is black and then the other side is that really pretty metallic color. I find it easier to cut them out when I can see the black side of the foil. It just makes it a little bit easier to see. And I'm just trying to cut as close to each image as I can. And just popping some bubbles with my heat gun before beginning to fill up my molds. And when I'm filling up the molds, I'm not going to fill them all the way full because I will add a little bit more clear resin at the end just to help push some of those colors to the front. And these are the alcohol link inks that I'll be using for this project and again everything that I use in this project will all be linked down below in the description. Just a little bit of ink goes a long way and just really carefully cleaning some of that up with just a little paper towel that got out of the mold. And just a tiny little bit of this gold here because I don't want it to get away from me too much. And I really love watching the way that these alcohol inks move. If you do too, let me know in the comments. And just following that up with a little bit of some clear resin to fill out the rest of my mold. And then moving on to my next molds. And again, I'm just gonna lay down a thin layer of clear resin here, and I'm gonna be using the holographic foils in these. So just prepping them by getting the resin in there, and then I'll go ahead and hit them with my heat gun to pop any bubbles before placing the holographic foils. And then when I place my foils in, I'm going to place them in so that the metallic side is facing down and the black side's facing me. This will just make it so the shiny part is on the outside of the finished piece. And then adding some of my colors right on top of that, the same method, 
and following it up with some clear resin. And when my molds are completely full and I'm happy with how they look, I'll go ahead and let them rest overnight or over the day and let them cure completely before moving on. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've let my pieces set up overnight. They're completely cured and so let's just peel them out of the molds and see how they turned out. Here's the first one. I think it's super cute. It's just a sweet little heart. Got some really cool patterns going on in there. And then let's pull out this one that has the holographic foil. These came out really cute. Let's pull out the other two. I really love how these hearts turned out. There's a lot of really cool textures and patterns going on in there. So cute. And then let's get these on some chains and finish them up as necklaces. So to start, I'll go ahead and measure out all of my chain. And for these, I'm gonna use silver chain and I'll do 18 inches for each necklace. Next, I'll just be using some jump rings to attach my pendants to the chain. So I'll go ahead and hold them with my pliers and use the other set of pliers to open that jump ring before attaching the finished resin pendant onto this jump. And then just using my pliers to close that jump ring, make sure it's tight and flat and it's really secure. And then just threading that pre-cut length of chain right through the pendant. There we go. And then the next step will be adding a lobster clasp and also a larger jump ring so we can close it. Using the same process, pliers to open it, my lobster clasp here, and I'll attach that onto one end of the chain. And then to the other side of the chain, I'll be using a small jump ring to attach a larger jump ring just so you can clasp the chain together and make it a functional necklace. and then just moving on and repeating the process until each piece is finished. All right, so our pieces are all finished up and I think that they turned out super cute. 
please let me know in the comments what you think of this craft and if you're planning to try it for yourself. As always, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. It really helps out my channel a whole lot and it means the world to me that you are watching all the way through. So thank you for picking my video out of all the other videos that are out there. And if you did make it all the way to the end, leave me some sort of pink flower or pink heart emoji in the comments so that I know that it's real. I hope that this video inspires you to make something of your own today. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, whether you're with a loved one or just showing yourself some self-love. That's always nice too. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,